Hey guys, welcome back. I got a real quick video for you guys. Um, yeah, I've been playing on this incredible OLED monitor, but it needs an update. It's a firmware update. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. Enjoy. All right, first things first, you need this cable that comes with your monitor. You need the USB B side to be plugged in in your monitor. Um, and the USB A side goes into your PC. Now I've seen a lot of people literally putting the <laughs> USB A side in the monitor and the USB B side in your PC and that's not gonna work. So make sure you do that. And then you come here, go to Google, type in a Zeus, it's gonna pop up. Um, you go to, yeah, BIOS and firmware and there it is. You, all you have to do is download this firmware, but make sure you have plugged that USB like I showed you, okay? Because it's gonna fail if that's not connected. So once you download that, okay, um, you're gonna you're gonna get you know you gotta go find where it's at. It's probably going to be in your download file or where, wherever you saved it and you'll have to extract it and once you extract it you will get right there that and all you do is click that and you, you're going to start the update um, I messed up the first time because I just didn't plug it you know the USB in. I was like, "What? How is this not working?" Just remember to plug the USB cord in. That's very important. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Once it's done, you gotta just come back to your monitor and open up this. And now you can go to your HDR format. And you can see that I have HDR10 and Dolby Vision. I can pick and choose, right? Oh, yeah, I don't have my HDR on. Let me go turn my HDR on real quick. Go to the settings. Um, let's see here. HD, I use HDR. Let's turn that on. All right. Come back. Open up the OSD real quick and let's go back to the HDR and now you got the HDR settings. So let's go to the HDR settings nope. right there and I have console HDR and um, I don't use the dynamic brightness boost. You can which is going to you know make the picture even brighter but I'm good. And so one more thing you want to do is check to make sure you got the firmware updated. So let's scroll down to the information and you, there you go. You can see the 105 firmware version. So, yep, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful and yeah, have a good day.